Hey everyone, it's me Karen and I'm here today to do this fun little manicure with you. I've used all Tux polishes in this manicure and they are so great and a lot of fun. This is from the Uptown Funk Collection. So if you want to see how I did this, please sit tight and we'll get to it. Alright, so let's start off by me telling you what I have on my nails today. Besides my favorite base coat, I have some of this Orly on my ring finger, and it is called Meringue. It is like a off-white with a tiny bit of gold sheen in that. I think you can see that on camera. Anyway, that's on my accent fingers. And then on my the rest of my fingers, I have some of this fun tux polish. It is from their Uptown Funk collection. And this one is called Uptown Funk You Up. And it is a Crelly with all kinds of glittery bits in it in neon colors. And then there's some silver hollow and then some very micro fine flecks of assorted colors. How fun is that? Super fun. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these new stencils that I had gotten from Born Pretty. This was a sent to me with compliments from Cynthia at Born Pretty in exchange for using him in some of my manicures. And so we're going to do that today. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for sending me this adorable, beautiful stencil. And look at that holographic shimmer on that. I think Christine from Simply Neological would love these. Maybe we can get her to watch this. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to pick up some of the colors that are in the polish on my fingers with other Tux polishes from the Uptown Funk collection. And some of them. These are all from the Uptown Funk Collection. I will make sure I give you the names in the information box below. And then I'm also going to use one of their other polishes, not part of the Uptown Funk Collection, but there's green in here and I want to pick up some of the green. And then this one is the White Pure, which is a new release, and I'm going to use that as well because there are white flecks in here. So that's what we're going to do. So let me get my little mat because I'm going to cut a section of the stencil off and we're going to put it on a mat and then fill in with a brush. Okay, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and as you can see I've only cut off a portion of this. I only need enough for two nails so let's just start filling this in. If you prefer to use a, a dotting tool for this, go for it. I actually only want to fill in dots so I hope I don't screw this up too much. I think I'm going to use some of this uh, sinful colors, just a little bit of it. All right, I'm going to put a gel polish over it to kind of re-moisten some of those dots that may have dried a little bit. Use a light hand on that. Let's hope this works, ladies and gentlemen. It did. I'm going to let that dry for a couple of minutes 
and then I'm going to put a, another coat of clear on that. So let's have a little patience here. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I've lifted this up off of the mat and I have started to apply it on my ring finger. I apologize. I lost footage on my video. It did not start running. I thought it was running. But what I've done so far is I just laid this on and I will show you on this hand, although I'm a little clumsy. Um, but I laid it on here and I pressed the edges in over on this side. You can see that it is trimmed up a little bit already. And so I need to just keep working on that. Now some of this I cleaned up with some pure acetone and then top coating. All right, so let's lay this one up. All right, let's get some of the <clears throat> decal, stencil decal to sit better on the nail. Looks like this one is adhering just fine. This one is not. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the Dollar Store Super Dry to just give it a little more flexibility and adhesion here. There we go. Let's do this side. Mm -hmm. This is Char's trick. You've all seen her do that. There we go. All right, I'm just kind of feeling to make sure there are no um, creases, folds. I'm going to file off the excess on the free edge. So we're just going to try to melt in some of the edges here. All right, that worked better. I was holding it against there just a little bit, going slow. All right, now let me get some top coat on here and hopefully it will smooth everything down. I'm just going to use the Super Chic Lacquer, the Marvel Ultra, whatever it's called, but this stuff is so far really awesome. All right, let's let that dry. I'm gonna finish up my other one here. There we go, we've top coated. So my first experience working with a stencil, in specific this one from the Born Pretty store, was really positive. This is a quality stencil and I really, really loved working with it. It was very flexible. It was beautiful to look at. I will put a link to this beautiful stencil in the information box so don't forget to check that out I'll remind you later so again thanks Cynthia I really enjoyed trying this out and reviewing it for all of my subscribers all right what do you guys think of this manicure I hope you like it I think it's fun kind of cute and if you don't have stencils you sure can do this with a dotting tool but I really wanted to give a try to stencils so again thank you born pretty I really appreciate having those to try them out and if you like this video or found it helpful in any way please give me a thumbs up 
I surely appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future manicures. And I'll make sure that I put all the links to the products that I use down in the information box below. And um, that way you'll be able to find the beautiful tux polishes and the wonderful stencil that we use today. So until the next time that we get together, you guys have a great day. Ta-ta!